so today I'm going to show you how to do a waterfall braid. I absolutely love this look, it's so cute and it looks a little bit boho as well because I tend to do it in a slightly kind of more messy fashion because I like it like that and it's really not that hard to do either. So let's get on with the tutorial. So the first step is to prep your hair. Last night I washed and conditioned my hair using the VO5 Give Me Texture shampoo and conditioner. I think it's best to wash your hair the night before with a texturizing shampoo and conditioner like this, just because it's quite hard to do this hairstyle when your hair's all like slippery and freshly washed. It's good when it has a little bit of texture in it, so I washed mine last night. And the only other thing I'm going to do before doing the braid is use the VO5 Tame and Shine spray. Um, I really like this product because it's actually Sorry, I can never talk when I'm doing this. Um, it's actually a heat protectant as well. So um, I'm not actually going to be using any heat today at all, but if I was, then this is a really good product. This just tames your hair and adds a bit of shine as well. So it makes your hair look really pretty and glossy. Okay, so I've just got my friend Lucy to hold the camera for me because I tried doing this on a tripod and it just doesn't work out. So I thought you guys would be able to see better with me just doing it in the mirror and then her filming from the side. So I'm just grabbing a top section like this and dividing this into three pieces. And I'm going to go across with my front section, across with that section, and across with the front again. And I'm going to be dropping this piece to get that cascadey effect. And then picking up a piece from underneath so that I have three sections again. And I'm taking a piece from the top and adding that in. Going over with my underneath section. And then dropping this piece here. Taking a piece from underneath again. Adding in a little piece from on top again. And dropping this section. Grabbing a piece from underneath again. Adding in a piece from on the top. And dropping this section. And then just going to pin this here to end it. So I'm just going to pin that there. To secure it and this is the kind of um, finished effect that you get now that I've secured it I really like how you can kind of really subtly see the bits that I dropped I think they're here and here and it just gives a really cute little waterfall braid effect and I know that my hair looks quite messy because I have these little kind of baby hairs here which I just can't get rid of guys they just will never ever grow my hair here will only ever grow to being an inch long but I think it just kind of adds the kind of the undone boho feel of this look and you could really like hairspray these in if you wanted to. But I think it looks cute, just a little bit messy. I am going to use a bit of hairspray though, just to kind of um, secure the whole thing and make sure that it stays in. I'm using the Tresemme Touchable Finish Ultimate Hold Hairspray. And I'm just going to spray from about this far away. I don't know why I wince so much when doing hairspray, like it's going to hurt me. It's definitely not. And I'm just lightly spraying this which is just going to help to hold it in place. Then I'm just doing a quick all over spray because I don't want to leave the rest of my hair out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you guys have fun recreating it. Bye.